I'll call this meeting to order. Roll call. Clark McClary. Here. Larry Watson. <clears throat> Here. Billy Cloud. Here. If the board calls this meeting to order, roll call please. Joe Clement. <clears throat> Jerry Terrell. Here. Stoney Odom. Here. Item number three is the Pledge of Allegiance. <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Item number four, recognize guests. We want to thank all of our guests for being here today. Item number five is new business. Bill Dunn, you got any new business? Larry? No. Sheriff, you got any new business today? Not today. James? No, sir. Tina? No. Holly? Brian, you Everybody got something. wants to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have anything, no, Brian? No business at Shauna? Well, I don't guess we have any new business then. It's uh, board number three. Any new business? Commissioners? Uh, <clears throat> None that I'm aware of. Okay, moving on to item number six, approve commissioner's proceedings from previous meeting. Make a motion to approve. <coughs> I'll second it. Clark McClary? Yes. Larry Watson? Yes. Billy Cloud? Yes. It's uh, board number four, approve XI for commissioner's <coughs> proceedings from previous meeting. I'll make a motion to approve. Second. Joe Clement? Yes. Jerry Terrell? Yes. Stoney Odom? Item number seven is approved like it POs and um, just going to start giving the totals here because sometimes we have awful lot to call out one at a time. So the this week's totals were district three, three hundred dollars, district two, eleven hundred dollars. And that's this week's blanket POs. And the state auditor sent me a text saying that she's not aware of any statutory requirement that the blanket POs be called loud in open meeting. Make so motion to approve. A, I'll second it. Clark McClary? Yes. Larry Watson? Yes. Billy Cloud? Yes. Now, what was that about the, the all the POs being called out? I mean, what's that they don't have to be called aloud. The blanket POs that we always each call one, through. Each one individually. Oh, no, it don't have to be called out. You know, sometimes we have well, 30 of them. But about I, how to call them out, you know, what the name is. Okay, I got you. Yeah, I, I, that's why I checked with the auditor and she said there's not a requirement for it. So okay. it'll save time. Item number eight, review and sign of approved annual State Auditor and expect the report of the Treasurer's fiscal year summary ending the month of June 2024. That's our annual reports that we submit for the whole. Um, it looks just like the ones that you get monthly, except that one has like all of your totals. It also has our financial report that we submitted. There's also a copy of the 2023s in there as well. I believe it's a full copy because they asked me to go back. None of the year ending 2023's reports were completed and finished by the previous administration. So they're needing that to work on the audits. So I just ran it exactly as it is on the computer. You'll see on there that it does not balance because they did not balance before they left. But there's $500 that we carried in transit. And then on our side, we are correct. But that is on the 2023s. And that was what was submitted to the state auditor. How far is it off now? From, I don't know, the state auditors work on that. From 2023, when we took over, uh, or when I took over July to 2023. <laughs> 
um, all of the accounts were off by small amounts. I, for example, Tina's, I know hers was off by $2.70, I believe. The DA's office was off by like $400. Um, the, there was a continuing correction of $50 that they was also making. So they were carrying a lot of things. They had a whole list, and it, it shows on that. The whole list that they were carrying in transit for different departments to the sum of a couple of thousand dollars. <clears throat> I'll make a motion to accept the record. I'll second it. Clark McClary? Yes. Larry Watson? Yes. Billy Cloud? Yes. Thank you. So we can get the copies from you. Either way, or I pray okay. you'll have them to file, and then we can get them from her before, or the clerk's office before she sends them back to me. And I have, um, like currently, <clears throat> which this was my one from May that I worked off of, like when sales tax comes in for that specific thing. One cent goes to county general, a half cent goes to the gross revenue bond, a quarter cent goes to the county fire department, and then another quarter to county general, which is for basically any means necessary. And it's ballot measures that's for cent, but it breaks down to cents on our side. Okay. Moving on to item number nine, review and sign of approved monthly report for the election board. <clears throat> Make a motion to approve. Second. Clark McClary. Yes. Larry Watson. Yes. Billy Cloud. Yes. Number 10, open seal bids for financing from McCurtain Fire Department's fire truck. Do we have any bids? We got two bids. Mm -hmm. Farmer's Coat? Yeah, they may have some different interest rates on different terms. Sixty months, five point two five. I think we'll go with the latter. Sound good to you? Sounds good to me. I'll make a motion that we approve the sixty month at five two five for Farmer State Bank. I'll second. Clark McClary? Yes. Larry Watson? Yes. Billy Cloud? Yes. <clears throat> hmm. 
Transfer appropriations checks received and bills to be paid. Make a motion to approve. I'll second it. Clark McClary. Yes. Larry Watson. Yes. Billy Clown. Yes. It's a motion to review and sign approved appropriations and transfer appropriations. Joe Clement? Yes. Jerry Terrell? Yes. Stoney Odom? Yes. It's been a while since I checked, but you can get a 40 paper from Wheeler Metal delivered for 49, I think. A 40 footer? 40 footer, yeah. I'll call them and see. I don't know. Do we you want to go under new business to approve buying one? They, she had the trustees lined up to come move them, but she didn't have any place. They were going to go into a sale and. She's got her confidential records going into that sale, so that knocked that spot out. Yeah, we can. I mean, something needs urgent attention. Well, it's just the, the records that we're going to move out of that storage <clears throat> building upstairs. I've got everything prepped to be moved. I just, there's no place to move it, you know. And I mean, are y'all still using, going to use that storage area that I have for the election board storage? Well, that's the, that's the plan. plan for the future, mm -hmm. yeah. So. yeah. Judy had just lined up the trustees to try to get those books moved today. But so it, that's what we were, we were talking about. All that stuff, well, a 20-footer with the bookshelf, I mean, 20 would be fine, wouldn't it? I think, yeah. Because I don't know that I've got a place for a 40 down there in my yard. Mm -hmm. But we can find a place for a 20. I'll call and find out, but I just wanted approval to go ahead and get it if I once I find the best deal. How wide is it? How, how wide eight, are they? Eight and a half foot. I think it should be, yeah. It's the, the books and what few boxes that uh, they needed to save. You know, there's some school records in there and some employee records and then some books. There are school records from Carterfield School. Mm -hmm. or, Yeah, I, I mean, I'd make a motion that we buy a 20 foot container to store that stuff in. We, we need it. Yeah. Okay, second. Clark McClary? Yes. Larry Watson? Yes. Billy Cloud? Yes.
on property and liability. Well, this is what we're looking at on the point it's on the commission. Two seventy. But everything's gone up. Yeah. Got a sale on these for the quarter down there at Napa. It's in one inch impact in Milwaukee's. They're stout. And if you've got an old cordless grill, they'll knock $250 off for a trade in. That's two batteries, a tool, and that's about the best deal. Oh, with this at, at Napa yeah. here in town? Yeah, and Alan, he gets them the next day if you'll get them. But if you got an old war out, it's got to be a certain brand, but they knock $250 off for an old cordless grill I have.
old cattle panels got high, didn't they? Mm -hmm. <laughs> $26 a piece. Shane Drones. Shane
place in Tulsa. There's press for CDO right now. Is that that quick deal that? Yeah. Like week or something? week that eight plus CDO training. I've got a guy started it this morning. <clears throat> That's what it is, twenty four seventy five. They pulled the tax off. Been about forty five hundred. <laughs> yeah, six weeks. to adjourn. Make a motion. Second. Art McClary? Yes. Larry Watson? Yes. Billy Cloud? Yes. Yeah. Board number six to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. Second. Joe Clement? Yes. Jerry Terrell? Yes. Stoney Odom? Yes.